How long would humans survive on each planet in our solar system? Today, we'll be exploring how long humans would last on every planet with the use of current space technology. From the hellish depths of Venus to the icy expanses of Neptune, join us as we uncover the brutal realities of space travel. Let's dive into the most unforgiving environments first, before embarking on the journeys that would be much more sustainable for human life. First stop, Jupiter. This gas giant is the largest planet in our solar system and has a reputation for being inhospitable. But just how long could a human survive here? Jupiter lacks a solid surface, and its atmosphere is a chaotic blend of hydrogen and helium. The pressures and temperatures increase dramatically as you go deeper into the atmosphere. And let's not forget about the intense radiation belts surrounding the planet, which are far more deadly than anything we experience on Earth. Imagine descending into Jupiter's atmosphere. The upper layers might deceive you with their somewhat tolerable temperatures and pressures, but as you go deeper, the environment quickly turns hostile. At a certain depth, the pressure becomes so immense that it would crush any spacecraft or spacesuit. Radiation levels are so high that they would fry any unshielded electronics, let alone a human being. Even with the most advanced spacesuits and technology, survival on Jupiter would be instantaneously fatal. The crushing pressures, intense radiation, and lack of a solid surface mean that a human would not survive even for a second. It's a beautiful planet to observe from afar, but up close, it's a death trap. Jupiter's great red spot, a massive storm larger than Earth, has been raging for centuries. Imagine the sheer power of such a storm and the hostile environment it represents. This storm is a perfect symbol of Jupiter's volatility and the dangers it poses. Next, we head to Saturn, the second largest planet in our solar system, famous for its stunning rings. But don't let its beauty fool you. Saturn is just as deadly as Jupiter. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant with no solid surface. The atmosphere is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, with storms that could dwarf Earth's hurricanes. The pressure and temperature conditions here are equally inhospitable. Picture yourself floating in Saturn's upper atmosphere. At first, you might marvel at the beauty of the ring stretching across the sky, but the enchantment would be short-lived. The deeper you go, the more hostile the environment becomes. The pressure would increase to the point where no human-made material could withstand it. The atmosphere lacks oxygen, making it impossible to breathe. A human on Saturn would face immediate death due to the extreme pressure and lack of a breathable atmosphere. Just like on Jupiter, even with the best space technology, survival would be impossible. So while Saturn's rings might be a sight to behold, they are best admired from the safety of your spacecraft. Saturn's rings are composed of ice and rock, ranging in size from tiny grains to massive boulders. These rings are a spectacular feature, but they also highlight the dynamic and potentially hazardous environment around Saturn. Any mission to Saturn would need to navigate these rings carefully to avoid collisions. Our journey now takes us to Uranus, an ice giant with a chilly disposition. Known for its unique tilt and serene blue color, Uranus is more than just a pretty planet. Uranus is composed mostly of water, ammonia, and methane ices. It's incredibly cold, with temperatures dropping to minus 224 degrees Celsius or minus 372 degrees Fahrenheit. The atmosphere, while not as dense as that of Jupiter or Saturn, still offers no solace to human explorers. Imagine setting foot, or more accurately, floating in Uranus's upper atmosphere. The serene blue skies might seem inviting, but they hide a world of deadly cold and high pressures. The freezing temperatures would cause any human to succumb to hypothermia almost instantly. Modern spacesuits designed to protect against a variety of harsh conditions would be no match for the extreme cold. Survival on Uranus? Instant death from the extreme cold and suffocating atmosphere. The freezing temperatures would be beyond any survival capabilities of current space technology. So Uranus remains a distant, icy enigma, not a place for human habitation. Uranus's extreme axial tilt, which causes it to essentially roll around the sun on its side, leads to extreme seasonal variations. One pole experiences 42 years of continuous sunlight, followed by 42 years of darkness. These harsh and unusual seasons further complicate the idea of human survival on this icy giant. Continuing our tour, we arrive at Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun and a dynamic ice giant. Neptune is known for its striking blue color and the strongest winds in the solar system. The atmosphere of Neptune is similar to Uranus, with a mix of hydrogen, helium, and methane. Temperatures here are brutally cold, averaging minus 214 degrees Celsius or minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. The winds, however, are what truly set Neptune apart, reaching speeds of over 2,000 kilometers per hour or 1,200 miles per hour. Envision descending through Neptune's atmosphere. The stunning blue vistas would quickly give way to a realm of unimaginable cold and fierce winds. These winds would tear apart any spacecraft attempting to navigate through them. The frigid temperatures would instantly freeze any exposed human. On Neptune, the freezing temperatures and hurricane force winds would result in instant death. 
The extreme conditions make survival impossible with current spacesuits and technology. Neptune's beauty is captivating, but its environment is merciless. Neptune's great dark spot, similar to Jupiter's great red spot, is a massive storm that can be seen from space. These storms are a testament to the planet's violent weather patterns. Any attempt to survive on Neptune would have to contend with these unpredictable and deadly weather conditions. Next, we venture closer to the Sun, to Venus, which is often called Earth's twin due to its similar size and composition. But make no mistake, Venus is far from hospitable. Venus has a thick, toxic atmosphere composed mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. The surface temperature is a scorching 465 degrees Celsius, or 869 degrees Fahrenheit, and the atmospheric pressure is 92 times that of Earth. It's like being in a high-pressure oven. Imagine standing on the surface of Venus. The oppressive heat would be the first thing to overwhelm you. The temperature is hot enough to melt lead, and the pressure is like being a kilometer underwater on Earth. Even the best spacesuits would offer no protection and would fail within seconds. The intense heat and pressure would overwhelm any current technology. On Venus, survival time is less than a minute. It's a stark reminder that while Venus might look similar to Earth from afar, it's an entirely different world up close. Venus's runaway greenhouse effect has created an environment so hostile that it serves as a warning about the dangers of unchecked climate change. The planet's surface is dotted with volcanoes and covered with thick, toxic clouds, making it one of the most inhospitable places in the solar system. Moving on to Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. This small, rocky world experiences some of the most extreme temperature fluctuations in the solar system. Mercury has virtually no atmosphere to retain heat, leading to temperatures soaring to 430 degrees Celsius or 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and plummeting to minus 180 degrees Celsius or minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit at night. The lack of a substantial atmosphere also means no protection from the sun's radiation. Imagine standing on Mercury's surface. During the day, you would be exposed to blistering heat, enough to incinerate most materials. At night, the temperature would drop so drastically that you would freeze almost instantly. The radiation from the sun would be another lethal factor, with no atmosphere to shield you. With adequate thermal protection and life support, a human might survive for a few minutes to a few hours. The temperature extremes and radiation would eventually make it impossible to stay longer. Mercury's surface is fascinating, but it's not a place for long-term survival. Mercury's proximity to the sun means it experiences intense solar radiation. Any mission to Mercury would need to account for this, providing significant shielding to protect both equipment and human explorers. The planet's lack of atmosphere also means there's no protection from micrometeorite impacts, adding another layer of danger. Now let's talk about Mars, the planet that has captivated human imagination for decades. Often seen as the most viable option for human colonization, Mars presents its own set of challenges. Mars has a thin atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide, with surface temperatures averaging minus 60 degrees Celsius or minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Dust storms are frequent and can cover the entire planet. However, it has a gravity similar to Earth's, and its day is roughly the same length as ours. The thin atmosphere means you would need a pressurized habitat and spacesuit to venture outside. The cold temperatures would require significant insulation. Dust storms, which can last for weeks, would challenge your ability to generate solar power and could damage equipment. With modern technology, including habitats and life support systems, humans could survive on Mars for several days to weeks. However, protection from radiation, managing resources, and dealing with the cold would be crucial. Mars represents hope for human expansion, but it's a frontier filled with challenges. Mars's polar ice caps, composed of water and dry ice or frozen carbon dioxide, offer potential resources for future explorers. Extracting water from these ice caps could support life and provide fuel for missions deeper into the solar system. The discovery of ancient riverbeds and possible underground water reserves fuels our hope of finding signs of past life on Mars. The challenges of living on Mars also include its weaker magnetic field, which allows more cosmic and solar radiation to reach the surface. This increased radiation exposure is a significant concern for long-term missions and colonization efforts. Developing effective radiation shielding and sustainable living environments is crucial for any future human presence on Mars. 